Welcome to our tutorial about sheet metal rules. Let's begin by opening a new file. Go to the metric tab, select sheet metal millimeters. My first project is selected as the project file. Let's click OK. A sketch was created by default. Let's exit that sketch. In order to create or edit a sheet metal rule, we need access to the standard and style editor. We can get access in two ways. Under the sheet metal tab, we go to the setup panel. I don't see the setup panel here, so let's right click. It's supposed to be visible. Let's uncheck it. So how come I wasn't able to find it on my ribbon? Well, the reason is that my screen just isn't wide enough to show all the panels I've enabled to be visible. Now let's right click on the ribbon, go to panels, and select the panel. It comes into view now. Here's the sheet metal defaults dialog window. The pencil icon opens the standard and style editor. By the way, all three of these pencil icons on the dialog window open the same editor, just different sections of it. For example, let's click the icon next to Material Style. We'll be directed automatically to the Material branch of the editor. Style and Standard Editor Library Read Only. OK, let's go to the Unfold Rules. Let's expand that branch of the tree. Default K Factor is currently selected. Let's close and then close the Sheet Metal Defaults window. I want to show you the next access point to this editor. It's on the Manage tab, and click on the Styles Editor button. Let's expand Sheet Metal Rule. Here's where we can create Sheet Metal Rules. However, before we create some new rules, I did want to take a minute to point out a couple things. Notice this annotation in the title, Library Read Only. We're going to learn how to write to the library later on. Now let's take a look at this drop-down menu on the right. Local styles and all styles are the two filters available to us. Local styles belong to this document only, whereas all styles are stored in the project library. OK, let's create a new rule now. First thing to do is select an existing rule from the tree. Then click the New button. Let's give our new rule a name. I'm going to call it 1 underscore millimeter underscore stainless steel underscore kf for k factor i'm being as descriptive as possible so i know what this style means later on our new rule appears right here in the tree from the sheet tab let's select stainless steel as our material thickness one millimeter here we can select the flat pattern bend angle and the flat pattern punch representation we're going to be reviewing these options in greater detail later in this course. For now, let's go check out the Bend tab. We can select the relief shape, the width, the depth, and so on from this tab. On the corner tab, we can select the relief shape for a two-bend intersection and the shape and radius for a three-bend intersection. And let's return to the Sheet tab and create a new Unfold rule. Do I want to save the edits? Yes. Click on New. Give it a name. I'm going to call it 1 millimeter underscore stainless steel underscore K factor. Click OK. Let's change the K factor value to 0 0.42. Save. And let's return to our rule. Select our new rule from the Unfold Rule drop down menu. Click Save. And at this point, let's click Done. Now let's go to the Sheet Metal tab. Click on Sheet Metal Defaults. Under Rules, we're now able to select my new rule. And of course, the material style and unfold rules change accordingly. This concludes our tutorial about sheet metal rules. In my next tutorial, I'm going to be reviewing the style library, learning how we can write to the library to make our styles available to all files in our project.